Our first guest has won an Emmy Award for uh, his work on Murphy Brown, the Murphy Brown Show, and uh, he stars this season with Susan Day in his brand new television series entitled Love and War, uh, which can currently be seen Monday nights on the CBS Television Network. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jay Thomas. Jay! <laughs> Good to meet you. We've never met. Never met, although I feel I know you because I've seen you for many, many years on various, various television programs. Tell me about the Murphy Brown Show. How long were you on that program? I uh, was on um, for a couple, two, three years. Yeah. I had like one little shot. And I was so good. What did you do? Were you her uh, boyfriend? Let me explain my career to you, Dave. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm an unusual looking character actor, and they brought me on as a right wing talk show host. Uh -huh. And they said, wouldn't it be fun if we had the unusual looking guy? fall in love with the beautiful the good looking Murphy, Murphy Brown, Brown yeah. yeah so they had us fall in love cool really good yeah, yeah. good for you and and you were the boyfriend for like three years on I the was show? the boyfriend for three years and I was the right wing uh, boyfriend and she was the left wing right. and that of course was the crux right now the... uh, were, you, were you the father of the baby were you in that deal no I uh, practiced safe sex and was not the uh, <laughs> father of the baby her ex-husband came back uh -huh. uh, got her up on a desk this happened, and um, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't happened. write it. It, it happened. It happened on the show? On the show, at the desk, and, and then she was impregnated by him. When he found out, he left town. How much of this was actually shown on the program? I believe they I stopped understand. with the... You know, the climbing. Oh, oh, they oh man. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta start getting home earlier yeah, on Monday nights. You, gotta, you know. You know. And, uh, for, and you won an Emmy for that role. What was the character's name? Jerry Gold. Jerry Gold. Now, now, you can't go back that because you're a different I'm, character. I'm, I'm Jack Stein now. <laughs> See, I'm Jack Stein. <laughs> you're Jack so I can't Stein. Go back. No, of course. The yeah. paperwork alone yeah, would, just would take be too fast. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they're both Jewish guys. Uh -huh. So I could actually, you know, I sort of. And now, and now Jack Stein is nothing like Jerry Gold at all. That's Jack right. Stein's a, an opinionated columnist. He is not a, a happening a, guy. Yeah, he's not a talk show host. He's, he's an, an opinionated, opinionated columnist. columnist. Yeah. It's, a whole, <laughs> it's a whole different thing. And, and, but again, uh, the good thing for you, the good news for you, is you, you get to uh, be on the show with a, another really atta Susan, attractive woman and talented that's, actress. Susan, Susan Day. Day. Yeah. And uh, she and uh, Candace Bergen were voted recently by some, like a men's health magazine. Oh, the yeah. Two most I subscribe fantas to that. The, yeah, the two most men's health. But uh, you do subscribe yeah. to that, don't you? I have, no, I, I have a copy upstairs. I know you do. Men's I saw health, it. Yeah. I, was, I was in the bathroom. I was reading it. Uh, <laughs> How do we get in the bathroom? What are you doing in the bathroom? For the God article was how tight underwear stop you from having kids. I see. Uh, <laughs> they were voted the two most... Uh, you didn't do the puzzle, did you? No, I didn't do uh, the puzzle. <laughs> 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 Thank Oh. Where were we? I forget yeah, where okay. we were. We yeah. were the big vote on women uh, to, to most desirable they women. They were the two most fantasized about women in the United States. Uh, I don't, is that true among the men here? Uh, I would say in, in the, certainly Bergen. in the case of Candace uh, Bergen, yeah. Yeah. And Susan Day, you wouldn't fantasize about Susan? Yes, but uh, she doesn't come to mind as uh, readily as does Candace Bergen, I guess because Candace Bergen has been here, and, and I, I kind of know her, so I would be more prone to fantasize about her. You don't her. have to explain it to me. Oh, it's okay. okay. I don't care what you fantasize about. <laughs> I, you know, uh, I felt the need to explain yeah, and defend you, you here. Know, I'm sorry. I, 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 uh, uh, so they were the most uh, fantasized. So I've been with the two most fantasized. Now, these are women in real life who would not date me in real life. <laughs> well, you don't know that. I do know that. You think so? <laughs> I do know that. I'm, you know, I don't think they date you either, so don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> just, just speak for yourself, yeah. Big Mouth. And let's, yeah. uh, but it must be a great kick and very satisfying to uh, have that job. And, uh, oh, it's on, and the money. You know, the money is... Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't, you know what? Why don't actors ever come on and say, God, you know, the money is terrific. You know? yeah. Because and, that would alienate the people they're trying to entertain which you've done successfully right okay. here. Uh, let's do a commercial and we'll continue with Jay Thomas here.
Thomas is here from uh, Love and War Blue Rodeo will be out later. And the only female athlete ever to compete in the history of the NHL, Manon Realm. <laughs> Uh, Jay Thomas is here. You know, uh, I know so... Oh, I'm sorry, what is it? The art. Yeah, it's a piece of art we have there hanging on Paul's organ. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? It it's $5,000. Like, it looks like something that would be in a refrigerator, doesn't it? Like, you know, like your little kid did it? Well, well, thank you very much. Did you do it? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't do it. It's just we're displaying original alt artwork on Paul's uh, musical uh, box over there. Oh, you do it all the time? We do it, well, uh, yeah, once a week. Oh, so. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I didn't mean to... You no, know, no, that's all right. It's, it's fabulous. Yeah. Uh, what, what is it? It's a piece of artwork. I know. That's, what is it? What does it mean to you? Well, it doesn't mean anything to me. It means something to put on Paul's uh, uh, organ and, and, and waste well, a few minutes every night talking okay, about Okay, fine. It. I just thought, yeah, thought I'd help you waste and, a couple of minutes. And once again, it served its purpose. There you go. Uh, How's the bit going as a, on, as a weekly thing? Just about like it went Yeah, here. okay. I just... <laughs> now, uh, Jay, uh, in, in talking about your visit this afternoon, I was taken by a, a one little episode of your life that, uh, as you just mentioned in, in the commercial, at the yes. time was very painful, now is kind of amusing. Can you share that with folks? Yeah, um, uh, when I was very young, and I think you How old were you? I was uh, about 20, 21 years yep. old. Yep. Um, I was uh, dating a, a woman, and in fact, I play a guy who has trouble in relationships, so this is... Easy. Jerry Gold, right? No, no, no. Jack Stein. Oh, Jack Stein. I'm sorry. <laughs> the See, other Jewish guy. I've got, I I've got to get to my TV yeah, guy. You really have to, uh, have to straighten this out. Uh, so my girlfriend had broken up with me, and I uh, thought of a great way to get her back. You know, like, will you marry me? Yeah. And we got back. Well, that's cute. Well, that's we had great. to get married then. Uh -huh. And so uh, we fought a lot, and we got married, and then we continued to fight in the car on the way home from the wedding. Oh, you actually had a big church wedding? No, in it was a small. No. We just went across the... The state line because uh -huh. she was too young to marry in the state we lived in at the time. Now, how, how, uh, old, how old was she? She was. It's probably against the law. It was. Uh, it was the South. They, you know, they. Oh uh, sure. So yeah. what you're saying is anything goes. Yeah, exactly. Down there. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, of course. Like, cap of a softball team, and I think it's legal if they marry. <laughs> uh, so, so we got married, and we began to argue in the car, and she took the ring off and tossed it out the window uh, as we were driving, and there was a big open field as there are in the South. V valuable ring. Very valuable at the time, and uh, it had a flaw. It. That's why I got it cheap. Uh -huh. It was a little time. <laughs> uh, and uh, my friend Larry sold it to me. He had a broken marriage. Too. So, uh, uh, what a bunch of losers. You know, we were zeros. We were, you know, we were married one hour. Wow. One hour. We were married one hour. And uh, as you know, I don't know if you know this or not, but in many states, even though you decide within an hour that you're breaking up, uh -huh. you still must wait a year to get divorced. I didn't realize that. Yes, yeah. you do. So you had to wait a year. So. And then she had to be kept in the way that she was accustomed. That was the settlement. Yes. Yeah. And since we we're only in the car, I gave her a pinto. I thought that was uh, <laughs> uh, the best thing. And, uh, and so, what become, became of her? Is, do, you, do you still stay in touch with no, her? No, no. You're not really friendly with her. I had to go back. I spent the rest of the day searching for the ring, which uh -huh. I found, and brought back to Larry. Yeah. And uh, he gave me, I spent 1500 and he gave me 750 Atta uh, boy. Yeah, he's a good guy, yeah. Larry. No, I don't know what, uh, whatever happened uh, to her. Did she remarry? And... She will probably be calling some, you know, Well, uh, that would be sort of Jacobian nice. Jacobian Myers no, uh, tomorrow. No, no, no. But you mean, after all these years, 20-some no. years, you never, still haven't heard from her? Never saw her again. Your first wife and you haven't heard from her at all? No, and I don't really want to. Let's stop talking about it. <laughs> well, Jay, stand up and oh, turn no, around no, because no. she's right over there. I love, I love it. I love the music. Oh. The, the music always... <laughs> That's what makes you believe for a second yes, that she might she be might back be, there. Yeah. I, I, you know, I kept asking Mary. I said, you know, why, why do you keep asking me about this marriage? And she says, oh, for no reason in particular. Yeah. I'm thinking, oh, God, they found her. They found her. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, you know, then I read... Uh, this is true. It happened. The Pentos used to blow up. Yeah, that's right. So I read that about two weeks later and had a big smile on my face as I'm reading the newspaper. I'm thinking, no kidding. You know, no, there is no, some justice in the world. That's an awful, <laughs> so awful maybe she was a statistic say. for all oh, I know. Oh, God. <laughs> You've won him back now, yeah, Jay. Sure. Got him right back. Oh. Now let, let, let's talk about this show. This um, yeah. um, uh, uh, love and war. Right, at least love and war. Once. Love and war is the name yeah, of it. Love and war. Very successful. It was like number seven the first week. Seven and eight, right in there. Seven and eight. First yeah. top. Has anybody watched uh, big, Love and War? Big, big. Very good. Thank you. Good to see you, Jay. Good Thank luck you for show. having Thanks me. Thanks for being here. Jay Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back.